Every day, across the world, medical miracles happen. Lives are saved, disease is cured, injuries healed. New drugs, new technology, and new treatments revolutionize how we live and how long we live. And most of these incredible advances came about thanks to research done with animals. And thanks to the caring people who found fulfilling and exciting careers in laboratory animal science. Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm Chandra. We'll be your guides today for a fascinating look into the world of laboratory animal science from a bird's eye view. Or maybe a dog's eye view. Or a hamster's eye view because there are all kinds of animals and all kinds of jobs in laboratory animal science. That's right. But before we show you some of the specific jobs, let's first take a look at exactly what laboratory animal science is and why it's so vital to all of us. Laboratory animal science is a field of science devoted to the production, care, and study of animals used in biomedical research and education. Professionals within this field come from many scientific and educational disciplines, are compassionate, and are dedicated to improving the lives of people and animals. I'll be able to help people who are, who are sick, um, or maybe even other animals that, that are sick, and help them um, to be better and help them to find cures for um, certain diseases that they may not have a cure for now, but they may have one for in the future. We have to use animals in research because the law requires studies to be conducted before new medicines can be approved, and because their bodies work in many of the same ways ours do. They are also susceptible to many of the same diseases we are. Animals help us understand how our bodies work, find cures and treatments for diseases, test new drugs for safety, and evaluate medical procedures before they're used on people. The um, research mice that we work with, which are called lurchers, they are used to help find a cure for cerebral palsy. Virtually every major medical advance of the last century was made possible by research with animals, including vaccines, heart bypasses, organ transplants, and more. There isn't a day that goes by that there isn't some new discovery about how the brain works. Mice and other rodents make up close to 95% of the animals used in research. But certain experiments require other types of animals. For example, some animals have knees that are almost identical to a human knee. So they've helped doctors learn how to repair human joints and even replace them. Not just humans benefit from research like this. Animals do too. Research has developed new technology, new medicines, new vaccines, and new treatments for everything from fleas and ticks to heart disease and cancer. Through the benefits of animal research, uh, not only has veterinary medicine, my job, has been made easier, it is wonderful to be able to offer our clients effective, safe treatments that benefit them and the pets they have. Go get her. go! Good girl! Janet Baldwin's Golden Retriever, Maggie, is just one example of how research helps pets. Maggie had hip problems that a few years ago might have meant a lifetime of pain or being euthanized. By the time that she was one, she would have been dragging her back in uh, because her back hips were so bad. Maggie is so full of life, I just could not see that happening for her. Instead, Maggie had cutting edge hip surgery that soon had her up and running again because of research that has helped work on these techniques. Um, Maggie can lead a very quality life and um, I'm glad. Maggie even went on to be a therapy dog, like this one, that brings joy to patients in hospitals and nursing homes. So thanks to research, our pets and other animals are living longer, healthier, happier lives. Also, it's transferred into the captive propagation of endangered species in zoos so that we can keep these animals healthier and keep their populations up because a lot of these animals are extremely endangered in the wild and the, the, the breeding programs that are in zoos are their last link to survival. The animals used in research are specially bred for this work, so they're quite different than household pets. In fact, these animals receive better care than most pets. I know that these animals are not suffering. I know that uh, it's, if I see something that's not what I feel is right or I feel the animal's in some type of discomfort, that I could say, hey, this is not right, and they stop it. Everyone stops everything and looks at it and, uh, and analyzes it. If the animal needs pain medication, then it's pain medication or whatever the case may be. Many state and federal laws carefully regulate the care of animals used in research. For example, 
The Animal Welfare Act is very strictly enforced by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Many companies and laboratories take pride in exceeding these standards. I reinforce all the USDA regulations, making sure that all the animals are kept to uh, USDA standards. The reason for giving the animals so much care and attention is that this particular animal may be the cure of the future for cancer or any unknown disease that may appear. Because if this animal is happy and content with its environment, then our results from the study would give true results. By law, each institution that houses research animals must establish an animal care and use committee. I'm not a scientific person, I'm a layperson. My role on the committee is to look after the welfare of the animals and that's one of the things we do on this inspection. The Animal Care and Use Committee oversees, inspects, and monitors every aspect of animal care. We meet once a month as a committee to review the protocols that describe the research that's done here. But th during the inspection, we get a chance to see the animals and see how they're treated and how they live, and that's very important to us, in addition to reviewing the paperwork that governs the research. The number of animals needed in research has steadily decreased over the years. Whenever possible, scientists use other methods of research but cell tissue studies and computer simulations simply cannot mimic the complicated processes of the human body. And that's why animals and laboratory animal science are so important. We often say that animal experimentation is a privilege, it's not a right. And that privilege has to be earned, and it's earned through reduction, refinement, and replacement. Scientists need to try to reduce the number of animals used in an experiment to the minimum necessary to answer the scientific questions. They need to refine their scientific techniques so that those techniques are the absolute best they can be. And they need to replace animals whenever possible with alternatives that will give them the same scientific answers. In laboratory animal science, the bottom line is simple. The use of animals is a privilege and a well-treated animal provides more reliable scientific results. If you do science, it's got to be done right. And if it involves animals, it's got to be done responsibly. The American Association for Laboratory Animal Science is a nonprofit association dedicated to providing humane treatment of animals needed in research. It provides the only professional certification program for laboratory animal technicians so that people caring for animals are properly trained and can help facilities meet or exceed all standards. ALAS publications and website also help technicians and researchers so that together with ALAS, they can promote and ensure the responsible care of animals in research. Bet you didn't know laboratory animal science is such an amazing field of study. And it's a big field too. There are entry level jobs you can get with just a high school education, all the way up to research scientist jobs that require a PhD. Let's start with cage washers who are responsible for cleaning and maintaining animal caging and equipment. Laboratory animal technicians are responsible for the daily care for the animals. They make sure each and every animal has food and water and constantly monitor the animal's health and well-being. Both of these positions are critical to keeping the animal safe and comfortable. Animal health technicians provide support to the veterinary staff by administering medications, collecting samples, providing surgical assistance, and performing laboratory procedures. Facility managers and directors provide the day-to-day -day supervision of the animal facility, and clinical veterinarians provide the daily veterinary care and help plan and conduct research projects. But you don't even have to be a whiz in biology or chemistry, and you don't even have to work directly with animals. For example, you could find a job making or selling the products used in research facilities, like animal feed, bedding, cages, and other equipment even enrichment devices and toys made specifically for the animals. You like computers? There's a career for you in laboratory animal science, perhaps as a computer programmer or a database administrator. Maybe you're good in math or accounting. Great, we can use your skills too, as a statistician or financial officer. Do you like to write? Maybe you'd like to become a grant writer, working to find the funding for new research or design literature promoting a new medical breakthrough. And there are jobs for people who make sure everything runs according to the rules and regulations. Inspectors, compliance officers, and security officers. Considering teaching, there are many positions in this field for educators, whether training research or animal care staff, or developing online training programs. All are essential to assuring animals are cared for properly. And there are a lot of different places you can work. 
biotech and biomedical companies, pharmaceutical companies, government agencies, commercial labs, and universities and academic institutions. All of these employers provide excellent benefits and salaries, yet the amount of your paycheck will depend upon the particular job and your level of education, training, and experience. Yep, it's a great career, but don't just take our word for it. Meet a few people who've already found rewarding careers in laboratory animal science. And listen to what they have to say about their jobs. I've always worked with animals, I love them. And I feel like if I can make a difference, this is the field I chose to be in. I think that everyone can find a place in research. Working in research benefits everybody you know, around the world. Not only you know, this family or this person here, everybody. If you like being on the cutting edge, and, and uh, I can speak to this because my husband's a physician, I always tell him I know 10 years ahead what they'll be talking about because we're really on, on, the, cutting, on the cutting edge of, of medicine and my job as a laboratory animal veterinarian is to make sure I'm the primary gatekeeper and make sure that it's done in a humane way. The animals get attached to and your animals get to know your scent and your smell on a daily basis. They know when you're in the room, it's saying that you just bring peace to that animal you know, just knowing that you're taking care of them. And I guess I wouldn't trade my job for nothing in the world. I always wanted to do something medical, but I didn't want to put the time in to become a doctor or anything along that line. So this is what I was trying to do. I always like taking things apart. Today I'm working on an autoclave, installing a computerized control, um, updating it, and making it more reliable. I found that working with electronics hand-on and computers is very essential to me because it makes me feel comfortable and confident that I can carry out this job and actually make it a benefit to the society. I've learned a lot, worked with a lot of different investigators and different doctors in all different areas, things that I would have never had an opportunity to do in private practice. I like going to work every day. I'm not one of those people who worry about getting all dressed up or my makeup or, you know, competitiveness. Yeah, I just come to work and I'm happy. I walk out of here happy. I've always had an interest in caring for animals. Um, I've, I have a degree in animal science and I've worked at a pet store in which I cared for animals as well. And this was just um, another area in which I was able to use that experience that I had and education that I had, um, that I have to help me to help the animals as well as to help people. People who get into research undoubtedly will love their work. It has wonderful benefits. It's lifelong learning. It allows you to design your goals and to try to achieve them and when and if your goals aren't met to redesign them in such a way that they can be met. Uh, there's never a dull moment. So if you're looking for a rewarding career with good pay and benefits and a job where you can play a role in research that improves the lives of millions of people and animals then consider a career in laboratory animal science. Visit the website of the American Association for Laboratory Animal Science at www.aalas.org where you can find more information and links to job search sites to help you launch your career. And pass the word on to your friends. Maybe they're looking for an exciting new career too. Hope to see you in the lab someday soon. Bye.